what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. At what point did you realize Tupac was famous and Tupac was Tupac? And then you caught your snap and you was like, oh shit. I <laughs> and you started connecting your you started connecting your actions prior to knowing he was Tupac Tupac to where you were at the time when you found out he was the Tupac. Well, he didn't he became the he became Tupac Tupac to me right before um Right, right, like probably like a few months before the death row situation, though. You know what I mean? Cause, okay. Because before then, Snoop was high. Snoop was the big nigga. Remember, Snoop was the one that had all the, the uh, he was the one that nobody, nobody didn't want the album to come out because Snoop was the hot at the time. So Tupac didn't get hot really until after he had the little rape case and all that. Remember all that? Uh, but but he but Tupac had already done Juice and he had. But but his, and he had Brenda he and he had Brenda's got a baby right yeah but that I was out kind of, but that know, wasn't that wasn't superstardom that was another rap star that, that was just that, that was just another local that to me it was just like yeah. I still didn't that wasn't shit to me at that at that time yeah but at but after the whole situation now that I now that I know the Hughes brothers and shit. <laughs> I, I I I understand what Tupac. I kind of understand him. What's fucked up about the whole situation is you kind of understand everybody's position after it's all said and done. Mm -hmm. Because because right. cause, um because I felt like I should have been in dead presidents, and when I wasn't, I thought that was some bitch ass shit from Allen. So I was like, okay, nigga got some bitch in him too. That's just right. me. So you felt you felt that because you helped him with Menace Society, and y'all had built a rapport that. It was only right that you had action at that role. Yes, I felt like I felt like my performance in Mr. Society and the rest of the cast made him made him who he was, and he didn't right. reach back out and give it back. That's how what I really feel. And I wouldn't have said. Did that he ever offer an explanation for that? Huh? Did he ever offer an explanation? Just light skin nigga shit, probably. <laughs> what the hell is light skin nigga shit? Just. <laughs> Because you gotta, Will, you gotta understand, niggas be thinking it's all about them. You know how okay. they don't, niggas don't think about everybody else. They would think about themselves. See, most black filmmakers think about themselves. They want to be the star. You understand what I'm saying? It's not about you. you but know, is that exclusive to black filmmakers, or is that just filmmakers? Period. Because like, because I, I, I just think that a lot of directors, period, uh, you know, think that the movie is about them. It, well, when it comes to the white directors, a billion of them. You don't know. I don't know who this. Well, I know, but the average person don't know who directed Schindler's List. So, but you only, but you can only speak as to to who the type of filmmakers you've worked with. So I'm right. assuming that you've worked predominantly with black right. filmmakers, and so that's your experience. Right. But right. Do you, but you do know when you but when, you do know when you specify black filmmakers, it's like you're taking a dump on, you know, it's like you're calling out all black filmmakers and you haven't worked with all black filmmakers. I'm calling them out, but I, I'm still calling them out. What's wrong with that? Well, well it's, it's, never, it's, it's, it's a problem never, in generalizations, though. Like, like, but, like what we don't want to do, like, it's kind of like when somebody say, um, all, you know, black men, it's kind of like, you know, I've heard certain people say, well, you know, well, black men uh, are incapable of being in serious relationships and, and, and loving and da da da, and you like, well, what, what kind of damn black man you been with? You haven't been with all black that's men, true. so you can't, so you can't make that sweeping right. generalization. That, that, that that's true, that's true. Yeah. But what I, but, but, but what I, what I will say is that when they, when they're black film, filmmakers, we just know their name. You know what I'm saying? John Singleton, the Hughes brothers, Spike Lee. You know, we know their names. Tyler Perry or whatever, we know their names. But when it comes to white filmmakers, how many white directors do you actually know? Probably three or four. It's a billion of them motherfuckers. That's all I'm mm -hmm. saying. Mm -hmm. They don't really, they don't really, they, they more, to me, they like to make their talent stars more. That's all I'm saying. Mm. 
from, from my perspective, they, they make stars out of their talent, whereas black filmmakers are become the stars. Does that make sense to you or no? I just don't think that the directors have that type of juice. I think that the studios are the ones, because the studios call the end shot, I the think studio, that, the, the studio don't call it. The studio don't necessarily call it in shot. The director can say who they want. Right. Okay. Well, the I director. guess. Yeah. Well, you're right. You're right. You I mean because because the you know because the studio the studio can sit back and say, well, we're not we're not going to fund it, and then they got they they stand the risk of you taking it somewhere else. Right. And so the di yeah you're right. It's the director. When do, it's the director's video. vision. When you do a video, yeah. Will, when you do when you do a video, you can pick your director, right? Hey, this is the yeah. director we fucking with, this is the one we like. Then the director can pick who the talent that he wants to be, that he sees that he wants to be in a video. Right. When Hype Williams did the uh the Scarface Mad Jane video, he picked me. That's who he wanted. What the talking about.